have always been intrigued with these little Renogy power stations and wondered if they'd be of benefit to our mobile lifestyle. So we picked up the Phoenix 300 and we're going to put it through its paces. We're going to charge it up, discharge it, run all sorts of small appliances with it and let you know what we think. This is Sherry. This is Hutch. And this is Hamlet. Together, we are freedom in a can. We have a great solar powered system that truly meets nearly all of our power needs while living on the road. But occasionally, Mother Nature does not cooperate and give us enough sun, so we need a little bit of backup power. And that's where the Phoenix 300 comes into play. Now, this little six and a half pound unit is quite a beast. It's got a charge controller, battery, and inverter in it, and it can run some personal electronics as well as some small household appliances. Now that we're doing more video production work from the road, we occasionally need some backup power supply to run our editing laptop. This thing is a power hog, taking a whopping 250 watts just to do its thing. So instead of plugging into the house battery and draining it down, I can plug into the Phoenix 300 and I can run the laptop for at least three hours whenever and wherever I want to. Let's give you a quick tour of the Phoenix 300 and we'll start with the outputs first. We have two AC household outlets and we run our laptops, small appliances, CPAP machine would also work on this. It gives 110 to 120 volts of alternating current. We have the USB-A outlets. First one here is at 3 amps, and the other two are at 2.4 amps. And we use this to charge up our DSLR camera and GoPro batteries. We also have the USB-C output, and we use this to charge up our smartphone, but you could also charge up a tablet or a Kindle reader. The DTAP outlet can be used for photography and videography equipment. And lastly, we've got the 12 volt outlet, in which we use to charge up our marine radio and our walkie-talkies. Now. No go in the hair dryer. The AC appliances have to be less than 300 watts, so no dice. So let's take a look at the input side. This is how you're going to charge the unit back up. You've got the DC input, which is going to accept the AC adapter wall charger, the 12 volt utility port, which would plug into your car's cigarette lighter or any other 12 volt utility outlet. And this is also how you're going to connect a solar panel to charge up the unit. The USB-C output is also an input, so you can use your USB-C wall charger to charge the unit back up. To turn on any of the outlets, you're going to just push the corresponding button, and then to turn it off, you're just going to hit the power button. The unit also comes with a light feature, great for the campsite with a couple of different levels. Also a flashing sequence for emergencies or for, you know, the campground dance party. We can charge the Phoenix in a variety of ways. For instance, if we're going to be doing a long driving day, we just simply plug it into our car utility port and it's charged it up while we're driving down the road. So when our house battery is near full and the sun is still out, we can just plug this into our house system to take advantage of the extra wattage coming in and store it in the Phoenix battery. So that's actually one of our top tips for taking advantage of a system like ours, which is pretty small. So see the video description below for a link to a video titled Six Simple Strategies for Maximizing a Small Solar Powered System. And on a nice sunny day when we're hanging around the campsite, we can also plug it into our Eclipse solar suitcase to charge it up. Finally, the fastest way to charge up the Phoenix is via a 110 volt household outlet. So for those of you that are going to take this unit car camping, just charge it up before you leave home and you're all set for the weekend. The Phoenix 300 only weighs about six and a half pounds. It's so lightweight and portable, you can take your power with you anywhere you might want to be. The only real downside to the Phoenix 300 are these four battery level indicator bars. At 25% there's a pretty big range. So here at 50%, it means anywhere from 50 to 74% battery charge. We'd like to see a more specific battery status indicator. 
Well, folks, the verdict is in. We absolutely love this little power station. We've been traveling across the country for the past three weeks, and it has fit beautifully into our mobile lifestyle. And if you're the type that likes to go on a car camping adventure for the weekend, this would be perfect as well. You don't have to charge your electronics up in your car or leave them in the bathhouse. And also, for those of you in a small house or apartment, it would be perfect for a power outage. You could run your laptop, lights, maybe some other small appliances. This Phoenix 300 is great for a lot of different things. And here's our Phoenix 300 scorecard, getting a 94 out of 100. That's a solid A. So as always, please reach out with questions and be sure to use our affiliate link and promo code CANLIFE in the video description below. It'll save you some money on Renogy products. We'll see you on the road.